Alrighty, this is Aussie Gamer 17 and welcome to another edition of Achievement College. This is my step-by-step -step guide to getting you that gamer score. And today we are playing a game called Abzu. We're going to get all of the achievements for a thousand gamer score. It's going to be a full game walkthrough and achievement guide and it's going to take a little under one and a half hours. And something very important to mention is this is free with Xbox Live Game Pass or Xbox Game Pass. So if you've got Game Pass, you've already got this game as part of your library and an easy 1000 gamer score and an interesting little game to play. Uh, we're going to control some sort of little scuba diver that we need to swim around with, interact with different things, solve a few little puzzles. They're not difficult at all though. And like I said, less than an hour and a half for our 1000 gamer score. And there's plenty of collectibles, around 50 collectibles, and I'm going to show you where each of them are. There's a few different types. We have to collect what are called hidden pools. You go and interact with them. We also have to collect seashells, and we have to collect meditation uh, rocks or meditation posts. You have to go and interact with those as well. And don't worry, stick with Aussie, and we'll be showing you where all of them are. As soon as you get control, we're going to uh, work on our very first achievement. And I'm going to just cut in a little section here of me first playing the game uh, because as I was uh, trying to learn the controls, because it can be a little bit difficult to control this uh, swimmer. Uh, as I was doing that, practicing the controls, I accidentally got the first achievement. And that's just for jumping out of the water. You'll see that, see me do that here in a sec as I cut in my original footage here. Uh, but I wanted to show you so that you can see, uh, one, how easy it is, and two, I want, to, want you to see the achievement pop on the screen. So this was just me learning how to swim, and that little jump out of the water there will get the achievement for doing that. And to swim, you just hold the right trigger. That gives you some forward momentum, and then you can press A to boost and go a bit faster. Uh, and obviously the right stick controls the camera and the left stick sort of controls your movement. Uh, not forward or backwards, just sort of your steering. Okay, so moving forward and we're going to actually look for achievement number two. We're gonna be introduced to the mechanic of riding different fish. If you hold the left trigger here, you can grab the fish and ride along with it. Now, as we're riding along, if we press B, we'll do a barrel roll like that and that'll give us our second achievement. There it is, it is a ballet, and it's for performing a flip while riding a creature. So there's a couple of missable achievements already, but as we work our way into this next area, we're gonna head over to the left and look down on the ocean floor. Uh, you can see it just ahead of me. This is our first collectible, and this is a pool or a um, hidden pool I think the game calls them push X to interact with it what happens is a species of fish will be released into the world and we've got to find a total of 20 of those make your way past that and this down here is part of the objective to pass or to continue on with the game um, so it's not a collectible as such but we do have to interact with this um, these little um, I've been calling them tiny little subs that uh, follow us around and they can help us uh, get through certain areas or into certain areas. So pick up this one and we've got a couple more that we need to pick up before we can progress through the level. All right, from that one, head up this way. You can see another hidden pool in the distance. We'll go and grab that first. Um, there's another collectible just up to our right, but we'll grab this. I was trying to make up my mind which one to do first there, but uh, grab hidden pool number two. And from there, we'll continue on a little bit further. And there, just in front of us, is hidden pool number three. So let's grab that. Now, from this uh, hidden pool, what you want to do is head up and to your left, but I get a bit uh, lost here for a second. Uh, if you do get a bit lost, you can look for the light coming down that I'll uh, notice in a second over in the background there. The light coming down through the ocean is 
pointing us towards one of the uh, little subs. So we'll go and pick that up. We need three of them so that we can uh, open up and the uh, door to the next area. It's not, a, not really a door, but a, a barrier stopping us from getting through. Anyway, so grab that. Once again, not a collectible, but necessary to continue the game. Now, if you look over to our left there, and straight ahead now, we have our meditation statue. Approach that and sit on it. And we're gonna get another missable miscellaneous achievement here. Press the um, back button or the view button to go into this mode where we're just um, looking at fish. And you might need to be a little bit patient here, but if you flick the left thumbstick around, it'll follow different fish. And you can see this species pop up on the bottom right hand corner of the screen. We are looking for a predator fish and we're going to get an achievement for watching a predator fish basically eat another fish. I'm trying to get onto that other fish. There we go, this one here, the grouper. And sometimes they'll do it straight away, but in this case I have to um, just sit with him a, a while longer and wait for him to get a bit hungry. So just follow him along, you don't have to actually control anything. Here he goes. And we'll wait for the achievement to pop while he uh, continues to eat. And there it is. As soon as you've got that, you can back back out. There we go. And from the uh, meditation statue, what you want to do is not swim away like I am and just remembering now that I forgot. You want to swim down um, between these two pillars underneath the meditation statue and you will find our first secret shell. There's 19 of these in the game to collect and this is number one. And you just uh, have to be near it and press the X button to interact with it like that. And that should be all the collectibles in this area. So now head towards the next objective and we've got to pick up a, another one of our little subs before we can uh, move into the next room or the next area. And here it is here. So just grab this little fella and then we can use it to open the uh, pathway straight ahead of us. Hopefully it's all making sense, guys. It can be a little bit difficult to um, direct everything in this sort of um, environment where you can move in literally any direction up down left right backwards forwards all of that stuff all right moving through wait for that shark to sort of um, do his thing and there's gonna be our second secret shell uh, head through these uh, I guess they're bits of seaweed. Head straight across the opening and then make sure you do a quick left and stay on the lower level for secret shell number two. And once again, no more collectibles for the next little while. We've just got to progress our way through this area and the next. What you're going to be looking for is a blue pool that we want to dive into to continue on to the next area. Uh, post a comment guys if you have any idea what this story is actually about when you finish the game because I, I don't really um, I won't give anything away as to what I do know, but uh, it still doesn't make a great deal of sense to me Maybe it's not meant to um, I think the game was still pretty cool uh, looking You know, it's a good looking game and I enjoy the uh, different type of experience Yeah, so anyway head through the blue pool here Not like I did there. You've got to just push um, X a couple of times to get in there. Okay, you do gain control of your character here. Um, and you, you'll go through this sequence a few times throughout the game. All you have to do is swim forward and then interact with that blue sort of orb thing ahead of us. Um, you'll notice a bit of a pattern starts to form. Um, this is definitely sort of a, um, I guess I'll call it an interval in the middle of the chapter or towards the end of the chapter usually.
once again, guys, I'm just keeping all this in to make it more of a real full game walkthrough um, and show exactly how long the game is going to take. Uh, as you gain control in this new area, excuse my editing, I had to just uh, reload the save, so it sort of puts you back maybe in a different spot, but I'll show you where Meditation Statute number two is. Uh, if you see the walkway and where it heads um, from the red sort of plant in the middle, up above the walkway, opposite that you'll find meditation statue number two make sure you go and interact with that now i'm not sure if you actually have to go into the uh, meditation scene where you're following fish or not but i always make sure i do just to make sure the game registers that we've got the statue we don't want uh, xbox live stuffing around with our achievements at all uh, even though you will see later in the video that it does but don't worry we get the full 1000 on the one playthrough and like I said at the start, in under one and a half hours. Now we follow the path um, that I was just talking about and head inside here and we progress or continue on with the game. Just heading through this tunnel, enjoy the scenery as you do. It's probably why I don't get the story because I don't pay much attention to all this stuff. I know there's a picture of someone that looks like me on the wall there but Anyway, we've got a walkthrough to do and we've got collectibles to get. That's where my focus is at the moment. Hey! Really only had to play through this. It, no, nothing is really that hard to find in this. Only had to play through it sort of the one time. Um, when after the shark incident, make sure you dive straight down. Don't go straight ahead where the game wants you to go. Head to the bottom, and you'll notice a hidden pool in between these two large pillars here. So make sure you go and grab hidden pool number four. And from this pool, head past the uh, pillars, sort of in the opposite direction to where we are, uh, where we came from. So sort of progressing the game and grab secret shell number three and then you can head back up see me struggling with the controls a little bit there but yeah we can uh, head straight up and this door here is to end the chapter so you interact with that it'll open up and we can swim through to end the level there we go in we go when the game gives you control back, just swim forward and end the level. Okay, in the start of chapter two, we get our first opportunity to work on the achievement jet stream. We have to burst 15 fish schools in a jet stream. And that's this thing here that we're about to head into where it sort of um, takes control of you and you go sort of uh, zooming along and you'll see these schools of fish right here and they'll flash white when you break them up just like that and we have to do have to do 15 of those throughout the game and so you're just steering looking for those schools and uh, making sure you try and run into them as we go and don't worry there's I think there's at least 30 schools um, throughout the game you won't get the whole 15 just in this jet stream but there's another jet stream not too far away where you should be able to get the 15 and if you still miss it there there's another jet stream later in the game that has plenty more um, schools of fish so just follow along, um, there's no collectibles yet in this section, so just uh, apart from these um, schools of fish, so just get as many as you can, but don't worry if you don't get, um, even if you don't get as many as I do, there's plenty more opportunities. And at the end of the game, if you still didn't have it, you could um, just come back to chapter select, which is available once you've beaten the game, go into chapter two and just do this bit again until the achievement pops very simple still doing them here you can still get them out in this open area i'm pretty sure they count towards the achievement we're still in a jet stream as far as i can tell so from memory i think i get pretty close to the 15 here in this first section um, and then we pick it up very early on in the um, next jet stream section and we're still going no uh, schools of fish though here in this little bit.
and it's just a linear path here we don't really have much choice about where we're going we can steer a little bit but here we go into a brand new area and there we go and now let's do uh let's grab some collectibles while we're here first one is going to be hidden pool number five you can see it just here in front of me uh, to the right of where you enter along the ocean floor we'll go and grab that one of course there is no set order that you have to do these things in it's pretty easy if you explore this area to find them all from hidden pool from that hidden pool we're going to go for secret shell number four which is on top of this pillar here make sure you grab that and now for hidden pool number six you can see it over there to the left of the meditation post that we'll get to in a second here we go And now we'll go and grab that meditation statue. Look, I'm, I'm pretty confident that you don't have to go in and do what I'm doing there, but I'm doing it just in case, as I mentioned earlier. Now from there, head towards this cave, but go up above the cave that you can see there, and we're gonna get hidden pool number seven. We do need to go inside that cave, but first we're gonna grab this uh, collectible. There's a couple of shells that are a bit tricky, uh, that, that take a bit of uh, effort to find, but a lot of the other things is if you're searching around you will find them and obviously if you're following a guide you'll be you'll have no problems at all. Stick with Aussie, eh? And here we go with another one of the subs. So inside that cave that I mentioned earlier And we need him to open our way forward, um, which was sort of directly in front of us as we came into this area. I don't know if you saw that red sort of coral stuff that, that's uh, been blocking our way throughout the game so far. So head back under this uh, big rock formation. We'll find it. And we can go forward. We've got all the uh, collectibles from this particular area. And we've got jet stream section number two coming up right here. So if you didn't get it already, which um, I don't know if it's possible to get it in Jetstream 1, here's opportunity number two. And don't forget there are more opportunities later in the game. At least one more anyway. One other thing to remember, and I'll point it out soon, is that we also have to grab a shell during this Jetstream. So this one is one of the tricky shells, and if you're not uh, looking for it, you might miss it. But as long as you swim somewhere close to it, you can interact with it. So as we go through here, you'll see it up and to our left. And there's the achievement actually for the jet stream. But don't worry about that too much because here's the shell up and to the left in that section there. So hopefully you saw me grab it there. You just, you don't have to be super, super close to it. And even though we've already got the jet stream achievement, there are more schools of fish that you could get. There's one over to my right and we're gonna, yep, got it. A couple more here, so. Nothing at all to really worry about. You just have to be quick to grab that particular secret shell. Okay, so I'm at, at least 20 schools of fish now, so plenty of opportunities. Here we go. That's cool. I like that bit. Okay, and there's another one of the blue pools. There's no collectibles or anything like that in this area. Just not much uh, sea life or anything you'll notice something to do with these blue pool thingies but um, anyway once again swim up to it interact with it head inside and it'll be the exact same scenario as earlier when we did this 
once we grab uh, once we get control of our character swim forward interact with the blue globy thingy and we'll continue on Now, once again, when we get control back again, there's going to be another meditation statue around here somewhere. It is off to your left from where you start, but uh, I'll hopefully be able to show you on the camera here exactly where we are in relation to the rest of this area. But it's pretty simple, pretty easy to spot. Just make sure you don't leave the area before you get it. Oh, nearly. You'll see that we're just adjacent to the little walkway and we're going to head off to our left through the, uh, the open doorway. So once again, very easy to, to grab that meditation statue. But of course, these things are very easy to miss if you don't know to look for them or um, you're just sort of playing through the game and you don't know about the achievements or whatever. Head through these corridors here. I'm sure this is more story elements that I'm not paying attention to. And there's gonna be yet another meditation statue. As I just uh, have a quick look at that massive school of fish, but just under it. So directly in front of us when we um, come out into this big opening, head forwards and a little bit down and uh, grab meditation statue number five. directly down and behind Meditation Statue 5 and we're going to head down to the um, ocean floor again. can't really see where I'm going but I'm sure once we get closer we'll be able to see Secret Shell number 6 somewhere. Yeah, So this is I'm um, just following the pillar all the way down and there it is off to my left. There is the Secret Shell so we'll go and pick that up. And then there should be a hidden pool just around the corner as well. So turn around from that, head back around the pillar that we just came um, down next to. Wondering what kind of huge whale that is over there, but anyway. Yeah, head around the pillar should be a hidden pool number eight on the other side. There it is. Grab that. And once again, that's all the collectibles uh, in this area for now. So we can progress the story or continue on with the level or, or whatever you want to say. And swim all the way up. You can see the door, that's the exit of the level. You can actually head straight for that now. So we've got everything here in chapter two. Same as before, we just go up to the door, interact with it and swim in to complete the uh, chapter. 
heading into chapter three, there's plenty of collectibles in chapter three, but no, um, you know, missable miscellaneous uh, achievements or anything like that. Just uh, quite a few collectibles to pick up as we move through the chapter. Okay, nothing at, at the uh, first little part of this chapter, so just uh, swim forward through these tunnels or caves. Okay, as we enter this uh, big open area, we've got to figure out how to open a door using these chains. But I am heading, heading down to the ocean floor and eventually uh, we'll grab our start grabbing our collectibles, but first we're going to grab another little sub Which technically is not a collectible. It's something we need to progress through the game So grab him And from there we're gonna grab hidden pool number nine should be just down around the corner From the little sub Follow this little path in the ocean floor and there it is And from here, we're going to get another hidden pool, number 10. Got to head up. Up from hidden pool number 9. So just follow the pillar all the way up and then turn sort of to our right from where we were facing. And there's hidden pool number 10 over on this ledge. Once again, there could be a quicker path to all of these, but I've sort of just got uh, on my notes how many are in each area, uh, and then we'll, we go and grab them. So head directly across the big, large open area from uh, that last hidden pool, and you can see just in, ahead of us is going to be a, uh, another one of these little subs that we need to grab, and I don't know if you saw it, but off to our right is hidden pool number 11. So once we grab that guy, there's hidden pool, very, very close by. And now yet another collectible, plenty in this little area. Let's go get secret shell number seven. Higher once again. But we need to dive down into this well here. Head down to the bottom, and there you can see it. Secret shell number seven. And you might have seen it before we dive down. There's another meditation statue just outside the well. There it is, let's uh, grab that as well. And that's going to be the last collectible in this big open area. Now we just have to open the door. To open the door, uh, you can swim into these uh, little cave entrances. There's one on each side of the room. I don't know why I headed to the opposite side of the room. Uh, I should have started back where we were. No matter. Use our little subs to open up this little area. And we're just gonna swim inside and interact with the, um, the chain mechanism here. That's gonna open up one side of the door. If you get lost, you just follow the chains. Um, you'll know where to go then. And we just have to follow to the end of the other chain, which we're gonna, the entrance to the, the cave where it is, is directly across, we can see it already. So just swim out of this cave 
and swim directly straight ahead to the other one. I suppose you call them puzzles in this game, but none of their puzzles are um, overly difficult, I wouldn't say. You see two chains or two cables, you follow them to the end, you flick a switch. Uh, nothing too creative from that point of view. And there we go, the door is now open. And we'll just make our way through the door. Should be a couple of collectibles in the next area. Starting with our next hidden pool. You can see it already, directly in front of us. Not exactly a hidden pool, is it? It's in, directly in your path that you need to travel on to continue. And that's exactly what we'll do. Continue on from there. Now, head through this opening here. We're gonna grab a secret shell number eight. It's, um, I guess you could say this one's a little bit hidden. We see the rocks in the background there with the um, yellow plantation area next to it. Don't worry about the shark, but swim in between the rocks and the plants here, the yellow plants. And down behind here is secret shell number eight. Grab that and now we can head where the shark was going. The shark will uh, become more and more relevant as we uh, continue this game. But as far as I know, it can't kill us. Nothing could kill me. Trust me, I tried in a couple of sections. Certainly not what this game is about. All right, for here, the next little bit, no collectibles, so just Follow the uh, path, basically, it's, it's fairly linear. Or if you get stuck, just follow along where I'm going. And there's the blue pool already anyway, so once you see that, you, you know the drill by now. I'll let this play out. Just like before, when we do get uh, control back again, there's going to be another meditation statue in this area. It's up a little bit higher this time. There it is over in the distance now. So you basically just swim close to the top and then um, have a look around and you, you'll be able to spot the meditation statue. 
up on this ledge here. Alright. And as you can see there, now we're going to grab secret shell number 9. Don't uh, go back down. Head over here where you can see sort of the ruins or the pillars here. Head behind them and behind the wall and there you go. There you can see it there. Secret shell number 9. And that's all for this uh, area. We can now continue, continue on for a little bit. So head inside, follow the path. Just have to interact with this little uh, pillar thing here to progress. It uh, allows the water or whatever it is to uh, continue through and it'll open this door for us. Same again here. And as we make our way into next, the next area, we're going to find our next meditation statue. As we just wait for the door to open. All right, so meditation statue number eight. Got to just get through this area first. And before we open the door, there it is just to our right, hiding in the corner. So make sure you don't forget that one. It's very easy to miss, even though it's not exactly hiding. All right, and now we've got a, uh, I guess we'll call them a few different, uh, a few little story components. No collectibles or achievements for the next couple of minutes. Head through the hole in the wall there. And we'll, we'll end chapter three here. So including this and the uh, start of chapter four, not too many, um, or nothing really to worry about in terms of collectibles or achievements. So just continue forward. There is an achievement later in the game involving blue whales. I won't say much more about it, but we can't actually uh, grab that achievement here. I did try a few times um, because I was aware of the achievements going into the game. Um, so I thought I'd try it here, but uh, yeah, no luck. So don't bother. I'll save you the trouble. Just enjoy the scene for now, which is pretty cool. These blue whales start uh, eating up. And then soon we'll see my personal favourite as these guys get out of the way. Look at these guys. Humpback whales, I think. I haven't watched enough documentaries. Thought I was going to get eaten here, but no, it's just a camera trick. Pretty cool. Well, I don't really appreciate the uh, story, as I'm using air quotation marks, I don't really appreciate the story of this game. 
but I do enjoy the, the atmosphere um, and the tone that they create. So I definitely wouldn't say it's a wasted experience playing through this. Okay, here's where we find out about mines and also we've got to keep an eye out for hidden pool number 13. But these floating upside down pyramids, if you get too close to them, they will um, come towards you. They'll start beeping louder and louder and uh, sort of explode on you. Doesn't really kill you though, but um, I think one of them gets me later on, so I'll show you what happens. Um, but yeah, don't don't miss hidden pool number 13 there and continue on down this way for hidden pool number 14. When you see this skeleton here off to our right, you follow that to the end uh, and that should lead us to hidden pool 14. Sort of a, a series of collectibles to get as we move around avoiding these mines. And yet another hidden pool in this area, number 15. Once again, head over to this um, skeleton over on our left. Follow its tail and then you can see it in the background over there. I'm just avoiding the mines first. Make your way over across the cable or cables and grab hidden pool number 15 over here. And from here, we're gonna grab secret shell number 10 Now, if you see that rock with a skeleton on top of it up there, that's where we're going to find the shell. So just uh, look out for that and then swim up towards it. And just in the uh, front of the uh, skeleton here. There it is. All right. As we look back over towards the middle, sort of a rock formation forming a bridge, on our right-hand side is medita meditation statue number nine. You may or may not uh, see a giant squid in this area. If you see it, feel free to go up and uh, ride it or grab onto it uh, for an achievement, but I think I grab it a little bit later on. That's it for the collectibles here in this area. Now we've got to uh, move on or pr progress through the game a little bit. Obviously, avoiding these. What you're looking for here yeah, is this uh, big cave sort of in the center of the area, underneath the big rock formations. Interact with this uh, generator or whatever it is. You'll see that it has, has a cable leading to the door at the exit. And once again, you'll see a cable on the other side that then we need to follow to another generator. So very simple, if you, don't, if you can't find this, just uh, follow those cables. It is hard to sort of show you guys a little bit. It can be difficult. I try and make sure uh, to prioritize the collectibles so that it doesn't get confusing. Is this where one of the mines gets me? Or was that on a, yeah, I think it did originally, but then I decided to go around these um, rock formations here. Sneak in this way if you don't want to get zapped. Basically, when you get hit by those mines, it just sort of electrocutes you, it looks like, um, and stuns you for a few seconds before you can move again. All right, so the door is open. Sharks are going through again. And I guess we'll uh, continue to follow the shark. So heading from that generator, just follow the cables to the door, basically. Keep on swimming, keep on swimming. Something like that. Whoa. Ah, so that's the explosion ahead that we heard, and we'll see the result of that in just a minute. There it is. 
our uh, shark friend, I guess. All right, you just go up to it, interact, and we'll help him out. Go. Now he's going to eat us. No. <laughs> okay. Follow the shark and we'll uh, grab secret shell number 11. By the way, I do have all the uh, timestamps in the description below if you need it. I probably could have or should have mentioned that earlier, but there we are know what you're looking for you could use those to uh, skip ahead and now as soon as you get into this big open area dive straight down and keep an eye out for secret shell number 12 if I can get around this huge pillar continue going down and see it eventually there it is off to my right on this little ledge I'm just uh, enjoying looking at uh, what's going on around me there. Grab that and continue f even further down. You can see it already. Meditation statue number 10. And I don't know if you noticed, um, but there is a giant squid just above me. And like I said earlier, that's related to an achievement. So make sure you grab... Oh, we just saw one of the hidden pools there as well. We'll grab that later. First thing we're going to do, though, is go up to a giant squid for the achievement Kraken. And that's just... The description doesn't tell you much about it, but you have to ride it. So hold the left trigger when you get close. And we'll go in and uh, hold on to it. Ride it for a second or two, and the achievement should pop. Go. Pop. Pop. Hey, there it is. Another easy 75 gamer score. So nothing to sneeze at there. From here, if you see where we got the uh, secret shell from, you can see the big opening across from that. I'm trying to show you guys with the camera where we are so that we don't get lost. Don't think I did the uh, best job of it. But anyway, what we're looking for now is hidden pool number 16. Heading up above the opening. Yeah, there, you, there it is. You can see it now. So almost directly opposite where we uh, got the uh, last secret shell. So only four more hidden pools to go. Not too many at all. Alright, so no more collectibles or anything like that. It's another one of the blue pools, another one of those sequences. So once you uh, head inside and get control again, just swim forward to the uh, blue orb.
Okay, and this time when we regain control, this time there is not another uh, meditation statue. Every other time when we've completed that similar sequence, there has been, but there isn't in this area. In fact, we've got a few minutes ahead of us um, with no collectibles or uh, achievements. Um, just a few minor tricky sections to get through and navigate through. And a few story components. Alright. Now here's a tricky section full of mines. Uh, not the uh, trickiest se section by any means, but uh, navigate your way through here as best you can. But you don't really lose anything if you happen to get hit. I know I definitely got hit a couple of times, I just can't remember if it's in this recording or not. So don't don't think I'm some sort of, yeah, so I got through it that time, but that's that's because I've had practice. So uh, definitely, definitely been hit plenty of times by those mines. The first time I played that section, I didn't know there wasn't collectibles. So I'm like swimming around everywhere looking for collectibles just to make sure getting hit by probably every mine. These ones are fairly simple to avoid. So just uh, swim through these corridors. Once again, it's all linear. And don't worry, I'll let you know when the next collectible is coming up, but there's still a, still a little while before that. So I get sort of that where um, we seem to be restoring the uh, sea life and things like that as we go, but I have no idea what these structures are meant to be or, you know, if it's some sort of alien structure that's come and destroying the sea life or something and we're uh, eradicating that. I, I don't know really what's going on. Um, I'm ashamed to admit. Now here you just interact with the uh, in the middle of the room and then we're just waiting for the door to open once this plays out you, you'll see it in the background as soon as this hologram disappears sort of off to our right now or sort of behind this hologram there it is the doors open now sort of where that smoky entrance is so head in there Very, oh, it was very, very close to going off. Alright, here we go again, another huge mine section. This is the one I was talking about earlier. No collectibles here at all. I have found that getting as low as possible, heading down towards those pipes down there. If you head too low, you'll see in a second the game immediately forces me upwards but I found this is the best sort of route for me it's been the best route to get sort of under the mines before making our way back up at the end see that's the game there pulling me up where you saw that light flashing on my uh, mask or whatever yeah once again same thing there but it still helps us keep under the mines um, not sure if there's an easier way but um, this seemed a uh, pretty good way to get past all these and once we get past this last one, we can head up and uh, swim through this triangle uh, sort of door thing again. I'll just let this play out now. Silly shark, very silly. And this is the part where I discovered that I must be some sort of robot. I'm not a human in some cool suit.
And once we gain control again, there's just a few more little sections to get through before we come across some more collectibles. So once you get control, swim forward and through this opening here and down towards our shark friend. I don't think he's going to make it though. Nope. Here we go, as you see his eye close over. Alright, moving on. Sorry Sharky, but we've got to walk through to uh, get through here. Continue through this area, once again, no collectibles in this part just yet. We're going to climb out of the water for one of the rare occasions in the game that we aren't in the water. Head straight up the stairs, interact with this Thingy my bob here. Open the door. Okay, and now in this uh, huge new area, there are going to be a series of collectibles and a few things that we need to do or interact with in order to open another door and continue on. Directly in front of us here is one of those such opportunities, so we'll, we'll do that before we grab some collectibles. So just swim straight ahead, up this ledge, and these uh, this small set of stairs, and interact with that uh, theme of Bob again. And then we need to swim directly under this platform, as the game points out right here. So we're going to swim under there and interact with that chain mechanism uh, thingy. Like I, I think I've said a couple of times, the puzzles are nothing, uh, you know... I feel that it's wrong to even call them puzzles, really. It's just pushing buttons to open doors, so... It's the one part of the game I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed in. But I'm tipping if you're following this guide, you're not here for the um, breathtaking story or mechanics. We're, we're achievement hunting. Alright, so one half of the door done. Now let's grab some collectibles. Swim out the other side. We're looking for hidden pool number 17, which is directly underneath the opening that we swam out of. And straight ahead, down to the hidden pool. From there, let me just get orientated again. So, looking for meditation statue on top of this uh, little staircase here. There we go. Once again, you can do these in any order. I sort of just um, go to the next one that I see. Directly down from that meditation statue, you can see it now. Hidden pool number 18. So just two more hidden pools to go. Up to our left is actually the uh, next chain mechanism to open the door. So we can quickly grab that now, but we're not done in this area, even though we've opened the door. We've still got a couple of collectibles to grab. OK, 
Okay, so the next is Secret Shell number 13. See the waterfall, head for the waterfall and you can see the little platform sticking out from the waterfall. Just climb up onto that platform and now head through the waterfall. We're gonna jump into another pool of water. Oops, I, yeah, the controls, I get a bit stuck with the controls sometimes. And swim into this pool for secret shell number 13. And then just back out the way we came. I tried to be clever and jump out of the, the water onto the um, platform, didn't work. All right, hop back out, back through the waterfall, and you should see it once we get through the waterfall. You'll see our next secret shell across this big area up on a ledge over there. So secret shell number 14, just head over to the left. Don't need to deep dive the way I am, but uh, swimming over here, we will find a, uh, another ledge to climb up on and a set of stairs to take us up to the secret shell. Here it is here. And once we've got this secret shell, we can then head through the big door that we've already opened. There we go. And we just dive back in and swim over to the uh, the door. Now what we want to do is um, follow this. It's weird saying water because it's water within water, but um, follow that lighter blue moving current or whatever it is to these little pools, activate them. And then that will open the door directly above us. And we're gonna swim up and out. Now we're just going to climb out of this pool. Couldn't uh, steer right for a second there, but uh, out onto this ledge and once again just diving into the water. And once we do, we're going to see hidden pool number 19. It'll be just down there below us somewhere. I was trying to spot it from up here. I think it's a little bit further off to the left. I didn't quite quite get it. Yeah, there it is. So to the left when you jump in, got myself turned around a little bit there, but yeah, to the left of where we entered, swim down and grab the second last hidden pool. Okay, from there we want to go and activate this there's going to be two of these. So that's done at one side of this pool. And you can follow this little sort of track on the other side if you need to get to the other one. Before we do though, we are actually going to grab meditation statue number 12, the final meditation statue for our Zen Master Achievement for 125 Gamer Score. You can find it by following the track. If you're a bit lost, follow the track and then to the left of the switch just here. Now you'll see I uh, sit here for a little bit longer as I'm waiting for my achievement to pop. Something was going wrong with Xbox Live for me here, like I mentioned earlier um, about making sure we get all those waiting for it to pop it doesn't pop 
at all, but I definitely got the achievement. You'll see me check that in a minute. But first I want to grab the last hidden pool, which is just on the other side of where we were, down to yep, down the bottom, down there. Yeah, I'm still sort of swimming along going, where's my achievement? I hate it when that happens. I was like, did I get them all? I'm sure I got them all. Um, but yeah, I definitely, definitely did get all, all 12. And same there with number hidden pool number 20. And again, the achievement's not popping. It's, uh, as I was recording this footage, it was freaking me out just there. I was like, what have I done wrong? What's going on? Have I loaded up the wrong save or something? I had no idea. Um, but we'll go and open the switch or interact with this uh, mechanism, I don't know what to call it, uh, to progress the game anyway. And in a second I'll decide to um, pause the game and just check check my achievements to see what's going on and show you that it did actually unlock but didn't pop on screen. So better than what can happen, sometimes they just don't pop if the game's not syncing properly or something is wrong with Xbox Live. But no, everything's fine except for it popping on screen. From that uh, switch though, we do need to go and grab something. So head over in this direction under this uh, sort of uh, bridge or whatever it is. And there's a little hidden area up here that we can uh, get up onto to get onto this platform above us, okay? So swim up there, probably come at it from the other side if you, if you need to. And this is where I decided to pause the game and check my achievements. And you can see these are the locked ones. It's just checking how many were left. And I'm like, no, no, the ones that I need aren't there. So, I didn't know um, which ones were secret or not. So, I'm going to Unlocked, and there they are. There's Eco Echo's Ecosystem for 125 for the Hidden Pools and Zen Master for the Meditation Statues. So, 250 gamer score right there. And now we can continue on and grab Secret Shell number 15. Make sure you grab that before you continue on with the level or the chapter. Yeah, so we definitely got the achievements, definitely have shown you all of those collectibles for the hidden pools and the meditation statues. So we can continue on now. And we've got all of the collectibles in this area, so follow this uh, trail through the big door. Similar to before, interact with another one of these thingies. Open the door up above, and up we go once again. So for those wondering, I am going to be trying to focus on a lot of Game Pass games for these achievement videos. Not always, but a lot of a lot of the time, there's um, I've got a whole list of games that I'm working through now that are part of Game Pass. So when I can, I'll uh, do these achievement guides for those particular games. Not all of the games can be just um, the full game in one video. I'll uh, a couple of the games I'll break into different episodes and things like that. I just recently put uh, a few achievements for below on the channel. Um, that game will take a lot longer to make a full guide for, um, so I haven't even completed it myself yet. Here is your uh, third opportunity for the Jetstream achievement if you didn't manage to grab it earlier, so I thought I'd just mention that here. A few more schools of fish. Obviously I've already got the achievement, we got that um, quite a while ago so there won't be anything popping for me here but definitely worth mentioning if you haven't already got it if I had to guess I'd say there's about 10 schools of fish in this uh, jet stream maybe more 
No collectibles though to worry about while we're going through here. So don't worry about that. If you've gotten to the end of the game and you're looking for maybe a missing secret shell, there is a secret shell that you need to pick up during the end credits. Uh, you, while the credits are rolling, you're still in control of the character um, and you can just sort of swim around in the background and off to the side there will be a secret shell. So um, obviously I'll be covering that later in the video, but uh, just just in case that's what you're uh, missing. All right, once we're in this big area, got some uh, chain mechanisms to interact with again. No collectibles here. Just gotta open up our pathway to continue on. I don't know why they, you know, didn't come up with something a little more creative or tricky or... I'm not sure, like... We've done this chain mechanism thing three or four times now. And there we go, we're going to exit through there. Um, I tried here to swim through the middle of this uh, school of fish. I was quite unsuccessful here, but either way, just swim down and through the uh, opening. Not this opening, the uh, opening directly below us now. So somehow our shark friend has come back to life. Whoa, and here we are. Okay, now secret shell number 16. There it is over there on the ledge. You don't have to jump up to it though, you can just simply swim over to it, be close enough to it to interact with it and you'll collect it. And now we're gonna pick up our next achievement. It's called Connection and it's for riding the Great White Shark. And I believe, I don't think this is missable because I think you have to ride it to progress the game at some point. So we're gonna grab it now and swim the shark through this area. So you are somewhat in control of the shark while you're attached. So there's the achievement popping there. I had to do a hard re, um, restart of the console or a reboot of the console to get my achievements to sort of start popping like that again. Um, so I did that in between chapters. But yeah, so controlling the shark, we just need to swim into these uh, mines that don't affect us anymore. So using the shark to ram each one of them. And then we're gonna move where it opens up by raising the water level. Now we can swim through that area and it will take us to another area with these mines. And we just sort of rinse and repeat uh, three or four times with the shark throughout the whole thing. And no collectibles for the next little bit while we're doing this with the shark. So yeah, same thing again in this room, just uh, swim into these mines, destroy them. Help the shark get his revenge, I suppose. Even though it was kind of his own fault. There we 
go. Same thing again, another area will open up. Off we go through there. So we've got a couple of secret shells left in the main game and then the one that I mentioned earlier in the end credits. And we've got a couple of uh, missable achievements before we get to the credits as well. Once again, same same story through the opening. Only difference with this next room is one of the mines is up out of the water and we just have to do a little jump in order to destroy it. Accidentally let go of the shark there, but you can actually stay on and continue along with the shark. There we go. Through the big opening here, once I can uh, control the shark properly. All right, now there's a couple of achievements to get here before we end the game. Now, I couldn't help myself. I made things a little bit harder for myself, but I couldn't help myself when I first got into this area and I saw the blue whales. So I've edited in my first sort of run of this. I went straight up to a blue whale, jump onto it. I just wanted to make sure I get this popping latch on and it'll jump out of the water eventually. And that's the Leviathan achievement for uh, riding a blue whale as it breaches so that's pretty cool. Yeah, so I wanted to make sure I got that in there straight away. Um, problem was then I got a little bit lost in terms of where our uh, collectibles are. You want to find your way back to where you first came into this area. So opposite the exit, which is the uh, orange triangle in the background there. And yeah, you know you're going the right way when you see that opening ahead of us. Now, off to our to the left of that opening is the next secret shell, number 17. But this time you do have to jump out of the water and press X straight away. So I'll do it quickly here. So pressing X as we got high enough there. But if you didn't see it, it's sort of just up, up there it was, but I definitely got that there. Uh, but yeah, you may need to take a couple of goes to get high enough. Uh, but we got that there on the first try. Now I'll head to the opposite side of that opening. And the next achievement is Arctic Explorer for discovering the polar region, which is just this tiny little ice cap over here. You can actually do a dive out of the water onto it. I mess it up here. Um, and then this is actually, I think somewhere along here is where I edit it back into my um, proper playthrough here. 
after stuffing around with the, the blue whales for a bit there. Anyway, so make your way up onto this Arctic area where we're actually going to get secret shell number 18 as well. And at some point while we're on this icy area, the uh, achievement will pop for finding the uh, Arctic region. Alright, now that we've got that, we literally only have the one collectible left, which is in the credit. So head over towards the exit, which is the orange triangle. I'll let that all play out and then I'll uh, rejoin you in the credits and show you where the last secret shell is. Alright, here we are guys. This is the start of the credits rolling and we're going to grab the achievement for collecting all of the secret shells for another 150. Um, that's just the achievement that you can hear popping for completing the game as well. I accidentally covered that up, didn't I? Oh well, not to worry. That's just automatic. Now if you head over to the right here, there it is, the secret shell, number 19. And the final achievement for the game should pop in just a second. There it is, it's a rare achievement. The Collector, another 150 gamer score, and that makes it 1,000 out of 1,000 for the game, guys. Like I said, under an hour and a half. Um, you know, a fairly enjoyable game. A very easy, quick 1,000 gamer score. Let's just have a quick look at all the achievements unlocked. 1,000 out of 1,000, 12 out of 12. Oh, and there's the bell, guys. You guys know what that means. That's it for another edition of Achievement College. I hope that really helped, guys. I hope you're enjoying the series. Thank you again for all the support. Thanks very much for watching. If it's helping out and you're enjoying it at all, please remember to give us a thumbs up. It'll really help my channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, check out my Patreon if you want me to be able to continue doing these things. And uh, yeah, until then, class dismissed. <laughs>